We have some breaking news and information coming out about GTA 6. First things first, we're going to start off with something that I would consider bad news, but let's get out of the way first. This all started when the GTA 6 trailer countdown tweeted yesterday saying GTA 6's rumored extreme weather effects, including hurricanes and tornadoes capable of causing large-scale destruction, were reportedly scrapped due to tech limitations. And this is actually coming from Rockstar Universe, which is a very, very solid source of information within the GTA community, but they actually tweeted saying extreme weather is scrapped and after a lot of feedback from other community members asking why and for more context and information, he basically replied and said, I've heard that they wanted hurricanes and tornadoes. As to why they were cut, I don't know. It could either be tech limitations or it could be something else. And for those of you guys unaware, the entire reason we knew that these extreme weather phenomenons and aspect of the game were going to be in GTA 6 initially is because Rockstar New England actually put out a job post listing looking for VFX artists that literally specialized in bringing life to environments using weather, which obviously there's only one new gameplay mechanic that they would need something for that. And that is of course, extreme weather physics where tornadoes, tsunamis, and hurricanes could actually damage the world that it's going into. But like I said, unfortunately, from the looks of it, it seems that that was apparently scrapped, but that could definitely be something that they add as DLC later down the line if the reason they're scrapping it is just for their timeline and not having enough time to polish it obviously if there is tech limitations especially for people playing on some of the older consoles that might be a whole nother issue but we really don't have any solidified information as to why it's scrapped but now that we got the bad news out of the way we do have some good news and some brand new updates taking place on Rockstar's official website but the trailer countdown Twitter tweeted saying Rockstar's website has been updated with complete integration of Social Club as they prepare for the GTA 6 reveal in early December. And as you guys can see, this is currently what it looks like if you go over to the Rockstar Games official website. It is getting revamped obviously for the world reveal of GTA 6. And here is some of the bonus changes happening for the Social Club because I know a lot of people actually use this and are a part of it. But the changes here, Social Club members milestone was updated from 100 million to 200 million, which is insane. That means there is Currently over 200 million people a part of the social club through Rockstar, which just tells you how many people actually play GTA. A new menu in the top left corner has appeared with three options, which is home, games, and newswire. And finally, there was search filters added with a ton of various options. Like I said, you guys could literally go see these changes for yourselves over on the Rockstar page, in case you guys don't believe that that's happening. But like I said, it was confirmed that the trailer was dropping in early December, so it makes sense that they they are making their final touches before the world reveal. You already know after that trailer drops, the amount of traffic in searches of people going to Rockstar's website is going to be insane. So it makes sense that they're revamping it right before all the madness begins. And just in case you guys were unaware, we do have a Discord server for our community. A link to it is down in the description. I highly recommend you guys go check it out and join. It's a great way to connect with us who run this GTA Mania channel and it's a great way to see information early, info that we might be talking about in vids and just a great way to discuss everything GTA related with like-minded people. We are going to be giving away a few copies of GTA 6 once we hit a thousand members in the Discord, so make sure you guys go and join. You might have a chance of winning yourself a free game. Now, something else that people are speculating Rockstar might end up doing if they actually give us a solidified release date for the trailer is posting a trailer countdown on their official website because this is actually something that they did for GTA 5's trailer. This is a screenshot of what it looked like on their website when they were five days and seven hours out from the world reveal for GTA 5. And considering GTA 6 is even bigger, it would be really hype if they did have an official countdown added to their website, especially like I said, with all the traffic going. There. But the main issue with that is we don't have a solidified release date. So obviously they can't do a countdown if they're trying to keep the date somewhat hidden. But there is two pretty solidified dates for when the GTA 6 trailer could officially be revealed to the world. The first one is on on December 1st because that is Rockstar's 25th anniversary of the company being developed and started to begin with. 25 years of Rockstar is pretty crazy to think about how fast the time is going by, but of course an anniversary, especially the 25th, which is a pretty big milestone, would be an amazing time for them to reveal GTA 6's trailer to show off all the hard work they've been doing over these last 10 years, and uh, it would just be a cool little nod on their anniversary. Now, the second date, and the one that I think is a lot more likely, is December 2nd. 
7th, and that is when the video game award shows are actually taking place. It's one of the biggest gaming uh, conventions where they basically give out awards for the best games every single year. And it was found that GTA and Rockstar were actually updated on the award shows website as advisors, so a lot of people think there is a very good possibility that Rockstar could actually reveal the trailer at the video game award show. That would be extremely hype because a lot of people would already be watching it and there would be a live studio audience that would be able to have their reaction as the trailer goes on, which I just think would make the experience of this world reveal a lot better. Now, knowing Rockstar, they could definitely throw a curveball at us and obviously they've been keeping a lot of their plans and information pretty secretive up until this point. So like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Those are my two guesses for potential release dates for the trailer. But the only thing solidified as of now is early December. So for all we know, it could literally be any random date. Rockstar could definitely just drop it on like a, the third or fourth in the middle of the week and uh, it'll still do amazing numbers. So I don't really think it matters when they reveal it. Those are just the two dates that make the most sense in my opinion. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends. And Jay Norris is dead, man. Oh yeah, he's dead, is he? Just like there's a country called Finland what? and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow <laughs> by my crane. Open it, come on. Tommy. Been too long. I thought I left my past behind. Should have never moved back to this city. It had been years since I stepped outside. I was tired of doing the same thing over and over again, you know? So I did what I had to do. With this fresh start, my sights were aimed at the top. No obstacle was too big, no risk too high. This time, I couldn't do it alone. We were a team, a duo, that was about to take over the city. We, will find you, we hit the jackpot, figured it was time to start living. <laughs> the parties, the wealth, the power, it belongs to us. Hey!